Hey everybody, welcome back to Renee and Baby. If this is your first time on our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and become a part of the R&B family. If you are already a part of the R&B family, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing the last pregnancy update. As far as I may know, I am currently 29 weeks and how many days? And five days. I will be 30 weeks in two days, which will be Wednesday. And I am on my way to the hospital. So I wanted to hurry up and record this video so that you all were updated of my signs and symptoms um, during the last two weeks. Well, yeah, during the last week and a half because I just did an update. Um, so nothing really has changed. As you all may know, I was in the hospital when I was 28 weeks. So 28 weeks, kind of up in the air, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I dealt with a lot of heartburn as well as acid reflux, which is nothing new. Um, I was dealing with that with the last pregnancy update. I have been growing, of course. I have been craving orange sherbet. That's all I've been wanting is orange sherbet, orange sherbet, orange sherbet. Like that's all I've wanted is orange sherbet and soda. Soda has been a very, very, very big thing. Um, I've been wanting soda a lot and anybody who knows me knows I don't drink soda a lot. So soda has also been one of my cravings. And then <clears throat> my boobs that I didn't include in the last update, they have been very tender, sensitive, all of the above. I didn't deal with that with him until after I had him and my milk came in. It's the only time I felt anything in my boobs. Um, so they are very sensitive. When I got out of the hospital last week, my milk did come in. Um... From contracting, I, I guess it tricked my body into believing, <laughs> he doesn't want to hear it, uh, <laughs> it tricked my body into believing that I actually went into labor and had the baby. So my milk did come in. I did not pump. I didn't do anything to it because if I did, it would have put me back into labor and we didn't want that to happen, even though I am still having the baby early. So just to update you all on why I'm going to the hospital now and why uh, the baby may be born very early 10 weeks early um is because i fell down the steps a week ago which caused me to contract which has nothing to do with the reason why i'm going to the hospital but that's just the replay of why i was in the hospital last week so i went to the ho i went to uh, my doctor's appointment just to check up on the baby routine after i left the hospital and everything and she said that the blood flow between my placenta and the baby didn't look too good so she wanted me to come back in three days and to check up on it again so i came back um today this morning 7 30 bright and early <laughs> and i expected her to say oh it's much better you're able to go home not hey it's worse it's time for you to go to the hospital so basically the placenta is not doing what it needs to do she said that i have more amniotic fluid if i have more amniotic fluid it's causing the placenta to work harder than it needs to basically and the baby isn't getting everything that she needs therefore they put me in the hospital to monitor me for a little while and they want to watch to see how my placenta continues to work because if it continues to deteriorate then they have to take the baby um if it doesn't then great i can hold the baby in until at least 32 weeks fingers crossed um i will be in the hospital on my birthday you guys and i am gonna have a tourist daughter so uh, <laughs> i am a tourist and my daughter is gonna be a tourist and we're gonna bump heads i just know it so um yeah that's funny but yes so that's the reason why i am going to the hospital is because of the placenta um uh, not delivering everything to the baby that it should uh, most likely i will be having the baby within the next week or two so i will definitely you all know me i'm in the hospital camera ready so i will be recording everything you all will be on the journey with me and i'll be sure to keep you all updated on everything that's going on kept you all in the loop during this whole pregnancy so i wouldn't leave you all out now yeah hey get it get it get it get it <laughs> y'all he's a dancing baby just love to dance another pregnancy update is of course my skin breakouts that i talked about last time they are still happening i just have a new one on my belly it's a really really big well it's not big but it's medium size uh but it's really bad it's like a dry skin patch i've been putting hydrocortisone cream on it hoping that that helps 
because it's very itchy and it's dry and I just don't like it. So yes, I am dealing with that again. I think that's all I had to update you all on. So I am about to show you all belly shot. Now, this is my belly shot. I am 29 weeks and five days. And with my shirt up, this is my belly. And front ways. Look at my ribs, y'all. That is not boob, that's rib. <laughs> And the other side. Y'all see how big my belly got? I don't know if y'all realize it. I feel like I'm much bigger with her than I than I was with him. Um, but I'm embracing my pregnancy. I love being pregnant. Um, I love the belly. And I love feeling the baby move and kick and gyrate all over the place. And I just think it's incredible for a woman's body to be able to do something so miraculous like give birth to a baby carry a baby for 10 months if you're able to carry the term like it's crazy all right well i hope you all enjoyed this video i'm starting to ramble on so i will see you all in the next new video of course it will be this week sometimes or next week um so so excited that you all are going on this journey with us. We're trying to stay positive, all positive vibes. Keep us in your prayers, of course, as always. And signing out from R&B family. So see you next time. Peace. <laughs>